Hi everyone, this is Saskia from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue and I am doing this video on behalf of Small Pet Select and today I want to talk about the different guinea pigs. They come in all colors, sizes, hairdos. So today I brought a few and I'm going to bring them out so you can see. Let's have a look. This here is my buddy and he is a teddy. Look at him. The teddies are known for having, well, they look like little teddy bears, but they have this really kind of hard and crinkly coat. See that? Which is really, really, really interesting. Yes. So that makes them, well, super cute. Yeah, well, all guinea pigs are cute, but you know, this is a very special little guy. Yeah. All right. So my next one I'd love to show you. That's actually my own guinea pig. This is Millhouse, and Millhouse is a Abyssinian. He's got all the little rosettes, and this is actually, you know when they're breeding in Europe and they are doing the, you know, the shows and stuff, the rosettes have to be exactly placed in the right areas and have to be a, a specific number of them. So I would not consider this like, a, you know, a, a show quality um, Abyssinian, but this is how we have them here in America. Yeah, and you are just the sweetest little man. Okay. And then we have Conga. He is an American short hair. So these are the ones you're probably most familiar with because they are smooth haired and they come in all colors and patterns. It's almost like a paint horse. He's so cute. Yes, you are talking about you, mister. Talking about you. So this is the one that you're probably most familiar with, okay? Alrighty, so now let's go. I got a long-haired guinea pig for you. Look at this beautiful girl. She had a bit of a haircut, but this, I can tell you this, if you do not cut the hair and you were actually one of those people that would brush it every day, and for the show pigs, they actually roll them up in rollers at night, that hair can grow to this long. Can you imagine? So we don't like that, we don't do that. So we make always make sure that we cut the hair here, cut the hair short in the bottom, um, because this is where a lot and a lot of mats can happen if you're not brushing them every day. Um, so yeah, you're gonna grow out and be beautiful like that. And unfortunately, we're not gonna let you keep your hair. I'm sorry, I love you. <laughs> Okie dokie, and then I have very something very special for you. Look at her. She is a skinny pig. Now, I'm not sure why they call them skinny because she's not skinny, but this is what they call them, skinny pigs. And um, they have a little bit of hair, mostly on the nosy. Yeah, oh, you like that. You kind of match my nail color. And then there are also another a breed that are called Baldwins that actually have no hair at all. But the most we see these uh, most often are the ones that have the little bit of hair. So these are probably, you know, the most common guinea pigs that you're gonna come across these days. So what'd you think? You just sitting there thinking about it? You're very precious. You're very precious. You didn't want that. Oh, I'm sorry. Deep in thought. Thanks everyone for watching.